and welcome RC Shim here in the cold on the Eichberg so with the Thunder Tiger Ghost Plus. Here you see that I attached my smartphone with the Hero app. Today I got seven satellites almost immediately after starting. It's a good sign. Wait maybe a bit longer to see if I get yeah eight satellites. So that's good for follow me mode. Okay, so it was the first little test of the following mode and today it worked quite well. Now I also have uh, nine satellites on the ground. In the following mode you can, you can steer uh, however. So if it uh, wants to fly away you can uh, take control and disable following mode. So it, it's quite comfortable. Okay, so for the next try. Okay, so this time I brought him a bit farther away and will now enable follow remote and I hope he doesn't fly away. Okay, so he turns and comes my way. Which is spooky. <laughs> Send him away quite far, and in follow me mode, I think he holds the altitude. Now enable to follow me again, and it's old. I like it. Of course, if he crashes now, he falls directly on my head. I'm far away, facing away from me. Follow me. Okay. And now the copter comes like a little dog. But fast. I'm at 9 minutes flying time and have 20% battery capacity. So 17% okay I should land now before he lands on his sound.
Okay, so I would say it was a nice demonstration of the follow me mode. It actually worked better than I thought, to be honest. Flying times, I flew nine and a half minutes, landed with 20%. Now it climbs up to 41%. So this shows me that the battery must be a bad battery. Follow me mode can be used to come home, but it then flies home quite quickly, which is a bit frightening, but it worked flawlessly, so I'm okay with it. Okay, so this was the third part of my ghost video. So far I had one crash. One broken leg on takeoff. Corner. Wobbling up. It didn't break, but something came off, <laughs> which isn't the best. The best engineering, if you are. Uh, here is the leg, and you maybe wanna unscrew this and glue it together, and then also use the screw to be safe. But make sure you, you you glue it in the right way then. It's angled. Today I glued all the legs uh, to make sure they stay in place. Landing, startings uh, work okay with the landing gear. Landing gear looks nice in the air. The copter looks more aerodynamic if he has the landing gear up. But it's just an optical thing I say. Speed was okay. I did set the vertical limit to 5 meter per second, which is the maximum and the max fly speed to 10 meter per second, which is uh, 36 kilometers per hour and that's also the maximum and uh, I think I, the crash to, uh, yesterday was maybe my fault with the sensitivity settings set too low I, I didn't like the way the copter responses uh, because I have no exponential on the on the transmitter, which is uh, which I'm not used to, so I tried to set the settings from 55, 55, 95 to 30, 30, 60 or something like that. So very low gain settings. It looked okay in the air, but in this one situation, it shaked and swayed around and crashed. So today with default settings, it flew okay. It's just a bit nervous on the on Roland Nick and don't really fully like that and maybe it would be a better idea to have another transmitter with Expo settings or have a firmware upgrade for this radio to be able to set for uh, exponential. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching this third video of the Ghost. Be sure to subscribe, share the video and thumbs up of course <laughs> thanks for watching bye